to marry anymore because the risk outweighs the benefits. There's a risk that comes with marriage that essentially only benefits a woman. A man marries you and can only hope that one day you don't wake up and say, I feel like I don't love you anymore and I want to leave and you can't do anything about it. According to ASA, 70 to 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women. Among college educated women, it jumps to 90 percent. You know what's crazy? I mean, a lot of us women don't have anything a man actually wants that we can bring to the table. Men don't want to marry anymore because the risk outweighs the benefits. There's a risk that comes with marriage that essentially only benefits a woman. A man marries you and can only hope that one day you don't wake up and say, I feel like I don't love you anymore and I want to leave and you can't do anything about it. According to ASA, 70 to 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women. Among college educated women, it jumps to 90 percent. You know what's crazy? I mean, a lot of us women don't have anything a man actually wants that we can bring to the table. Let me tell you something. Okay, this is something that we, these are the conversations that we have constantly within this space. And the thing is, right? I don't understand um, why a lot of women um, have a hard time comprehending why men don't want to get married. Okay. She said a lot. She said a lot when it comes to the percentage, as well as a lot of women not bringing a lot of things to the table. And I'm going to expound upon that. You see, a lot of these women that get into these relationships, they have the audacity of wanting to leave with this. I want to leave with this. I want to leave with that. And how come nobody talks about the fact that a lot of the ways that the women um, end up being or the growth uh, that the women um, have after being in the relationship, they end up being a person after all this time that they've, in, you know, that this man has invested in them, that this man has helped structure their lives, that this man has led them, supported them so that they can grow and evolve. And once they feel like they have, quote unquote, arrived, all of a sudden, they don't need this man anymore. All of a sudden, there's a stranger in my house. <laughs> Took a while to figure out and you got to get out of here. All of a sudden. That's why when she said 90, it jumps to 90 percent when it's uh, college educated women. I'm not surprised. Because women who are college educated, women who got a plaque on the wall, they feel so high and mighty about themselves when they go to their job where that plaque is used, where, they, where they're uh, sometimes referred to as the name on that degree. It gets to their head and it makes them feel like they're so empowered that, you know, I don't need this. I don't need that. I've heard so many times, so many women who um, are nurses or doctors or whatever, and when they get their degree, they put their maiden name on it, even if they're married. And what's the reasoning behind that? Because they say, I'm the doctor, not my husband, not him. I'm representing my last name. It's like a competitive nature that all of a sudden comes out. With us, okay? Majority, I'm talking about majority of our women. They can't stand to put his name on it because that's my achievement, not yours. How dare you even ask me to do something like that? But when it was a sleepless night and you didn't know if you could do it anymore, who was supporting you? When you, uh, you know, were unsure where to go and what to do and you had a hard time and you had a phone call to make and somebody to sit down and talk you through it, who'd you call? Who was there for you? Who told you, no, you know, I don't think you should do this. I think you should do that. No, you know what? You should get some rest. You should do this. The arrogance is baffling to me because it's so quickly that women forget how much they need their man. And you know what's interesting? A lot of these women file for divorce, right? But here's the okie doke. The okie doke is a lot of these women file for divorce from their man because they said they could do it all. I don't need him. I'm bad all by myself. And they feel good um, instantly, right? But you see, as months go down the line, you know who's, who's going to be more hurt from that situation? It's not going to be the man. When the rug is pulled from under his feet, 
more times than not initially, he's going to feel shocked. He's going to feel out of place because he wasn't expecting it. But he's going to get over it. And there's definitely going to be somebody else. But you see, when women talk about, oh, I don't need him. I could do it all myself. You know, huh? I was just doing this and I was just doing that. Once that little arrogant a phase or them feeling themselves, you know, they, they have the house to themselves, they have this. Once all that stuff wears off, all of a sudden when reality sets in, oh, wait, I need somebody to help me with this. Oh, wait, I need somebody to do this. All of a sudden they start remembering all of the things that their husband did even though he, they said he didn't do nothing. It's ironic. It's ironic. When it comes to family court, when it comes to the laws, when it comes to, um, you know, children and families and mothers and fathers, a lot of the times the court systems bend towards the mother, right? We know that. A lot of times they bend towards the mother, they favor the mother, you know, they're more in support of her. And even if the court does not do that, a lot of the mothers who are bitter uh, love to manipulate their children's mindset to bend towards her. So either way, she's going to make sure that there's a divot between the relationship with those children and their father. If the court doesn't do it, she'll do it. Some way, somehow, so she can have them troops on her side. And it's awful. So imagine a man who builds an entire life structure with this woman. Right. He thought she was a great catch. He thought she was well suited. You know, he followed all the instructions. He he courted her. OK, he, he done asked her her parents. He done got down on one knee. You know, he asked her where she wanted to buy a house. They bought the house in that area. You know, he, he supported her through her own endeavors. She supported him. They start having children. You know, they're making all this progress. Now they're in that space of, like, comfort. They're just raising kids. And all of a sudden, she gets bored. Because this is the most common um, reason why women get married. Because, oh, the spark is gone. Oh, I just don't feel that thing anymore. One day, she just gets bored and his entire life is, is changed. Now he got to move out of the house that he was comfortable in already. Now he got to see his kids whenever a court system said that he's allowed to, when he's used to seeing them all the time. Now he has somebody who's trying to come for all of the, the wealth and the money that he has. Now, they, now it's time to split assets, and now that's when the claws come out. Over him following the guidelines. Men are waking up about these guidelines. Because now I need to vet you properly. Now I need to see what you actually bring to the table, which, as this woman said, a lot of women aren't bringing nothing. They think kitty is enough, and it's not. It's not enough. Cooking is not even enough. Cleaning is not even enough. Because a lot of y'all not bringing respect, honor, support. A lot of y'all not bringing nothing. You're bringing the bare minimum of an adult. Adult qualities. But what it takes to make a relationship succeed, you're not bringing that. So now men are like, I need to really fully examine you. I need to really see who you are. I need to see how you act when you get mad. I need to see how you act when things don't go your way. We're going to have to date a little bit longer. I'm going to have to, you know, see you in, in really every, every type of situation that we can get into to make sure that you are the right candidate. So I know that I can trust myself with you and trust that one day a light switch is not going to go off and you're just going to flip the script and I'm going to be out on the street and you're going to be in the house that I helped you get, that I provided for you even. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Because when things go left, it affects men way more. Like I said, it affects men way more initially. Eventually, he's going to be all right. But we always see them women, oh, well, you know, maybe I made a mistake. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Another thing is, another reason why men don't want to get married, too, is because most of the time that they're in a relationship, after a while, they end up with a stranger in their house. The person that they dated and were with, you know, the person who was willing to, you know, roll over in the middle of the night. 
the person who was willing to cooperate, the person who was happy all the time and jovial and seemed like the fun person, all of a sudden that person disappeared. And it's funny because a lot of women, they beg for marriage. Oh, we've been together for this amount of time. Like, it's time for us to get married. Or, oh, you know, well, so-and-so's getting married and this person's getting married. And I always thought at this age I would be married. And so we need to be married. You need to marry me. Prove your love to me. Prove your commitment to me. Put a ring on my finger. You know, I'm not just going to be no girlfriend. I'm not going to be shacking up. You know, they have all these things. And then they're the first ones to run. They're the first ones to say, well, maybe we shouldn't do this anymore. Maybe we shouldn't be together. The first ones after they're the ones who beg for it. It's usually the men that are like, all right, calm down. We can work this out. We can get through this. And they're not even the ones who initiated it. They're not even the ones who were asking for it. The woman was asking for it. And usually it's the men that are standing in the pain. Why are you going through your attitude adjustments? Why are you going through your mood swings? Why are you going through, you know, you trying to find yourself within the relationship? Usually it's the man standing right there looking at you like, whenever you're ready, I'm, I'm right here, still here, still supporting you, still down for you. I didn't change. You changed. Women are constantly evolving. And a lot of the reason is because a lot of them are constantly finding new friend groups, constantly trying to find ways to feel, you know, uh, younger or feel a certain way. And so they're constantly outside and searching. And when they're outside and constantly searching, whether it's at work, on social media, or trying to keep up with certain things and trying to keep up with their youth and all these things, they're constantly changing. Men are more constant and level-headed, Okay. Usually what you see, that's what you get. Whatever you and your man had a problem with day one, usually that's what the problem is in 50 years. <laughs> Honestly. Men are con women are constantly like a roller coaster. And your man just sitting there watching you. Noticing all the changes that you're making. And it's sad. It's really sad. Because a lot of men turn into, uh, you know, they, they turn cold and hurt and a lot of good men are not wanting to get married and not wanting to be in relationships because of a lot of these other women have, uh, you know, hardened their hearts because they put themselves on the line for somebody to just pull the rug from under their feet and change their perspective about all women because this woman was supposed to be special. And this woman they would have never expected this stuff from. So if she did it. What would you do? It's sad. It's really sad. And and believe me. I'm sure if we ask men. There's a list. <laughs> there will be a long list of reasons why. Men don't want to get married. And I completely understand. I want to know you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.